tell him a hundred thousand. He want me to change my mind. Tell and this him was in, this was a hundred thousand in 06. A hundred thousand in 06, yes. Uh, <laughs> tell him a hundred thousand. And now mind you, I still did not know that this was low. Like it's Carlos. I ain't know it was Carlos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout it low and Carlos. I didn't know that the two were the same. Same I nigga. I had no idea. And you know, so he went back, and, and, and after he went back and got the response, and he was like, "Man, and the, man," and he told me who it was. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all. When he told me who it was, and it actually clicked. I laughed. I said, <laughs> because I remembered when the man looked at me and said, get your weight get up. Get your weight up. And kept the dice rolling. This shit happened like a movie, all in one motion. Get your weight up. He might have picked up some money after that. I don't even remember. Listen, the point is, I took that piece of inspiration, that piece of motivation, Got my ass up out of there, and what did I do? Got my motherfucking weight up. You dig what I'm saying? So Silent. at the point where it was back on me, I don't understand how you don't understand what you gave to me. I, I, but anyway, so we're in Crucial. Yeah. Okay. So that's how to do it. We're yeah, in yeah. Crucial. Crucial. Trish, everybody. And he actually did. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Dum, 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 dum. Do, do, do. Hello. Hey, no. Hello. Hello. Play that shit. Hey, bro. listen. Oh, hey, listen. <laughs> Nigga. I, I might have been sitting down, you know, crucial. It probably been, and for those of you who too young to know, oh, my shit. I opened that yeah, club in my club. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So at the time, we talking about my club. Derek, they're my uncle. First yeah. person to bring Lil Wayne to the want, West Side. Derek want to sell, Derek want to sell that building. Derek been had that goddamn building since the 80s. And the nigga got out of prison and said, what the fuck we going to do with it? And I said, we should make it a club. We made it a club and so on and so forth. And now here you is, have crucial today. Anyway. Um, so I was sitting down and, and I was probably having a conversation and you know, the, you got the back couches and you look far out and see the club, I mean, excuse me, see the stage off in the distance. When he started doing that shit, I stopped my conversation. I what said, you heard? What you heard, Tip? Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Hey! Hey, listen. All right. Now, let me tell you what my dumb ass did. I got up at my seat. I walked up right here to the end of the VIP. He was getting off stage, walking that way. And I slapped hand with him. I say, nigga, that's the one. Nigga, you was looking for it, nigga, that's the one. And he smiled, he said, yeah, okay, appreciate it, appreciate it. Nigga, cut two. <laughs> A week later, I got hit. Nigga, I got hit, nigga, Fed hit me, I caught my case. Yeah. Okay? Damn. So, after I caught my case, of course, I spent about two weeks trying to get a bond. I got my bond. Now I'm on house arrest. Can't come out the house. Got motherfucking feds monitoring me all around my mom. I'm basically in prison in my own motherfucking house. And... <laughs> okay, cousin. Cutting Pete. Cutting Pete. <laughs> hey. And I get word. Nigga, shout it low. Got a song out by you. 
And I hear it. It's the same motherfucking song. I say, did I just compliment this nigga on the song he put out about, about me? me. <laughs> Damn. And we shared some laughs, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but nah, man, Lo, he ended up moving into the, to the, to the uh, subdivision that I stayed in later on in life after I got out of prison. And we actually, we, uh, Lo and I never had a problem. You came back hard, though. Ain't nobody out there can fuck with me, black. What's happening? What it is, y'all? Sitting here, see the app, what it do? Cause I need you. Church, y'all watch it. And I see you. Now, see, let me tell you the complexity of this moment. I am on federal release. Nigga, I got fed watching me. I can't talk tough. I can't involve myself in violence. I have to be subtle. Nigga, I have to bring out all of the, the things, that the innuendos, <laughs> euphemisms. Yes! The double entendres. Vocabulary. Metaphors, nigga. I have to go back <laughs> to Doug High uh, uh, Literary Miss Pearson. I don't know if anybody in here went to Doug, <laughs> but the literature teacher was Miss Pearson, and she was a bad motherfucker. Listen, that shit there took... I couldn't, I couldn't just come out, nigga, I'ma do this, I'ma do that. If you listen to that song again, you'll see how much actual time and attention I paid in the saying enough, but not, not saying, saying too much. Shit. What's happening? What it is, y'all? Sit in here, see the half, what it do? Cause hey. I need ya. Church, you know what I'm saying? That's the king, man. Yeah. Hey, it's so all I got to say, go. what up? Uh, Yeah, um, and we actually, I think, I think, I think Shouty Low and I, we had the most, he and I, and you and I. Nigga, ain't no beef with you. <laughs> Black. <laughs> Black. Hold up. Did you ever hear me say anything how, about you? Brother, Have no, you ever? never, because we had conversations. All right, so how the fuck I'm beefing with you? I didn't say you were. I said your company oh, was. Oh, this shit. Now, you, just you, said. you beefing with me because the people on your label were beefing with me. No. Were the no. people on duct tape not no. shooting at T.I.? No. I don't know. <laughs> no. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Not no. shooting at T.I. I'm talking about. He meant in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a in a in a in a lyrical way. way. In a not lyrical literally. Way. Yeah, not shooting at no, nah, not shooting at T.I. No, Was we they not coming for T.I.? Yeah, a nigga. Stop. Listen, bro. It this called what the fuck this show called, man? Hey, what I'm telling you, that's right now. If Jay could say right now, fuck T.I. I said that. Is Jay on duct tape? Jay's on Big Fact, this my shit too. But hold up, wait a minute. Let's take it back to, this is prior to Big Facts coming in. No, sir. Listen. If DJ Scream say fuck T.I., no. the bank say fuck T.I. That's not the same, because I'ma tell you why. I'ma tell you why. Jay was Jade before Big Facts. Scream was Scream before Big Facts. Duct tape introduced all these people. Didn't nobody know of these people before duct tape introduced them. So when duct tape introduced them, the people on duct tape, the, the, the label that you own, that you are the president of, that you are the founder of, the people on duct tape said, 
We coming for tilt. Till you ain't fucking with niggas. Huh? You ain't fucking with niggas, bro. Like, you say what? You ain't fucking with niggas, I guess. You're listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream.